Yan'an, northern China, famously known as the power base for Mao Zedong, whose belief in self-reliance is echoed by the people's own resilience and self-sufficiency. Yet with population growth, the pressure on natural resources has reached unsustainable levels. Now, the Shanxi Volunteer Mothers Association for Environmental Protection have started their own revolution against environmental degradation. The traditional way of life and farming practices such as overplowing and using wood as fuel for cooking has resulted in serious soil erosion and the destruction of the environment. Recognizing the problem, the government launched a reforestation program in 1997. Key to its success were the Shanxi mothers, spearheaded by Wang Mingying. We were mainly involved in three activities. First was the reforestation project, where we planted trees, which we called Shanxi Mothers Environmental Protection Trees. We've also launched training programs for more than 14,000 rural and urban women and family members. While the farmers were reforesting the land and learning how to reduce environmental degradation, the need for fuel for cooking and heating also needed to be addressed, as it wasn't just the environment that was at stake, but the health of the families and the burden on women who spent hours collecting bundles from miles away. I have to get firewood from far away and then I have to cook. It's horrible and each time there is a lot of smoke and it's not good for my lungs and throat. It really is awful. <laughs> The Shanxi mothers realized that if they were going to stand a chance of protecting the remaining trees and environment in the long term, they needed to find an alternative fuel source. In order to help the farmers to reduce poverty and at the same time to help the environment, we started a project which was called the 4-in-1 system so that we could use biogas for energy. The 4-in-1 system is a way of turning human sewage and pig waste into biogas that can provide fuel for lighting and cooking. This is the general structure of the biogas pit. It's got four parts. This is the material inlet. Human waste comes from the toilet and the animal waste from the piggery. All this enters the fermentation chamber. This is the major part of the biogas pit, where the waste from humans and animals turns into biogas. Then there's a pipe which leads the gas to the kitchen for people to use. The slurry can be used for fertilizer for trees. I never thought that raw human waste could be used for cooking or lighting and it has no smell at all. I used to go far to collect firewood and spent a lot of money purchasing coal. Since using biogas, I am able to cook straight after working in the fields. It is very convenient and doesn't take too much time. There's an added spin-off. The byproduct slurry can be used as a fertilizer for crops and fruit trees. Since using biogas, I have the slurry and use it to fertilize these vines. It's much more effective than the artificial fertilizer I used before. It helps the vines grow faster and to produce more grapes. What we've done has been very successful, so we are planning to expand what we've done for the tree planting and training to the rural and urban communities, and also increase the number of houses in rural areas with biogas. This is cheaper, cleaner, healthier energy, which is environmentally friendly and sustainable. The farmers all love it.